planes about to run into each other. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, there is <laughs> me when the oh, my plane just through the other <laughs> guys. Country. Yeah, what's this? Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 That's right. We met to plan the. Banquet. We have banquet. to plan the yeah. virtual the online virtual yeah. Yeah. Banquet. Banquet. Mm. Gamer banquet. We have such Gamer. a good plan for that. Yeah. 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 It's um, definitely We, we did good. plan the intro, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we planned we, we the, did the intro, intro, right? There's Did we? There is Oh. The yeah. I don't think we did. You know what? I can just use this. Like this will be fine. I oh, can use awesome. this. Epic. They yeah. get it. Sweet. It's they an it. intro. It's, it's an intro. something. Um, we're introducing the drama banquet. This yeah. is the drama yeah. banquet. This is the drama <laughs> this banquet. Is this, hey, this is it. This is it. Welcome right to the here. drama banquet. Yeah. This is the drama banquet. It's gonna be a great time. Happy Friday. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! Friday. Woo! Friday. It's not Friday. Well, no, but it's for me. It'll come out on Friday. It's yeah. It's definitely Sunday today. Today's Sunday. No, I thought Friday when you see it. You know all that dark stuff. All right, welcome. Yeah. Woo! Welcome. Okay, so for our first segment, we would like to introduce the two seniors who were inducted this year into the theater program. They are. Chris Sedmack and Jessica Morgan. Woo! Yeah! Congratulations on being inducted into the troupe. Yeah. Pretty, pretty awesome <laughs> stuff. Uh, we're gonna put up right now a little screen of every senior who was inducted. You guys have been working so hard and it's so epic to see what everyone's gotten through their years here at Fossil. So keep up the great work, underclassmen. <laughs> yeah. Woo-woo! Epic. Scene. That was pro epic. Oh, it wasn't recording. I got this. I can do it. Mm -hmm. I can do it. You can do it. I can do it. Yeah. I know I can do it. You can do it. <sighs> Throughout the years, seniors have been given titles that have been passed down from generation to generation in our theater program. These titles reflect certain characteristics, values, and different traits that students may exemplify through our Fossil Ridge High School theater program. Please have fun watching this cool little video we made about senior titles and how they have been given down given how they have been gave passed passed how down they have, have they have been passed, been passed, passed down. down hi guys so my sophomore year tyler zuschneid gave me the title of yas queen so this person this title means that this person has to walk down the halls and they gotta kill it every day they gotta be confident and just you know just crushing it down the hallway um so tyler wanted to give this to another boy and so i've kind of want to pass on the same tradition and i'm gonna hand my title to mr stephen Wynn. hello everybody my name is Keldon miller um last year i received the title keeper of the stage from my very good friend orla mcgrath and she explained it to me as somebody who just puts a lot of love and dedication into what they do both on and off the stage, but also somebody who just spends a whole lot of friggin' time on the stage. Um, and I could not think of anybody who deserves this more than my very good friend, Caroline Sears. Um, she's so deserving and I love her very much, so. Yeah. Kiddo's got another senior title. I don't actually have this title. It was graduated with someone else, but I don't think it should evaporate. So I am representing the title Keeper of the Cages. This title is generally given to someone who is a guardian of the costuming cages, and I believe that this title should go to none other than Avery Hughes, someone who was on my own costuming crew when I was a customer. Congratulations. Hi guys, I'm Thomas, and I'm here to pass down the Beast of the Booth title, which is a title that was lost my sophomore year because the people decided that they didn't want to pass it down that held it beforehand. This title is supposed to exemplify somebody who spends a lot of their hard work and dedication up in the booth working at the lights board or the projections computer to make sure that the stuff gets done up there. And I think that Kim Gibbs deserves this title more than anybody else in the department for exemplifying the level of hard work that we really like to encourage. Thank, thank you, Kim Gibbs, and enjoy the title. Hey! hey. After. We're the improv Wait, people. restart. <laughs> hey! We're the, We're the improv, improv people. people. Hey! The Boosters are a committee of parents who help our efforts in theater with things like fundraisers, nutritional sati satiation, 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 and uh, other stuff. 
And here's a really cool video they made, because they're pretty cool. And they're showing us what they did. I gotta go. <laughs> Right now, we all wish we could be transported back to 1899, watching Jack and his buddies Davy, Les, and Crutchy eke out a living as newspaper hawkers. We dream with Jack about going to Santa Fe. Ah, what a time we'd have. Thespians, techies, dedicated staff and parents, I'm Jonathan Marston, VP of the Star Boosters Club. We are enthusiastic supporters of our talented theater crew. We couldn't be more proud of these kids. Parents, we're looking for you to join in support. This Star Boosters Club in its mere second year has a few awesome things to share with you. Next Stop touching my hair. So this next uh, segment <laughs> is is a thing we like to do every year called shish, Officer Awards. Officer Awards. Uh, Officer Awards. Officer Awards. Officer Awards. Officer Awards. So it's very prestigious award ceremony, really way bigger than Best Thespian or whatever These are more important are. than yeah. any of the awards <laughs> offered. The yeah. Oscars? No. The Not Tony's? bigger than the Oscars. Uh -uh. Officer Awards. Please enjoy Officer the Award. Officer Awards. Officer Awards. Officer Awards. Officer Officer Awards. Awards. Woo! All right, um, so this this officer award uh, goes to a really cool guy. It was his first year in theater. He he did um, Almost Maine, a uh, really fun show, and we didn't really know who he was because he was really quiet, but as soon as he opened up, man, what, what a gem. So this, this award is the Hidden Gem Award, and it's going to go to Evan Kaiser for just being a really cool guy. You know, really fun because he's a hidden gem. Yeah. This award goes to the most sunshiny, happiest human being on this planet that's like brighter than the sun. And it goes to Keldon Miller. It's a dandelion, because it's yellow and sunny. <laughs> the next one's for Alex. Um, for guy who wasn't in the Almost Main, then came up, and then was in Almost Main, but not actually, and then did Newsies, and is really cool, and I love him. In 2003, we were blessed with one of the most amazing motion pictures to ever come out. The first of the Pirates of the Caribbean series, starring Johnny Depp. And although those pirates in that movie were fake, we have someone who is most likely to be an actual pirate, right here in our own theater program. And that award goes to Daniel Williams. 
for most likely to be an actual real life pirate. Yar! Hi, this next award goes to CC DeSibio for best sunglasses. I have an award to uh, Marcy Slater for cutting best wood, for cutting wood the best. She's the best at it. And I don't know what we would have done without her. All those six buys would have gone un, they would have been cut slower. Good job, Marcy. You know, there was a time where we did a lot of uh, carrying of the banners and uh, seizing the day, but there's one person in particular who I believe represents the newsiest newsie of any newsie and who would likely be a newsie if they were actually a newsie. And this person would be Ryan Pippin. Congratulations on your newsying. Oh, it's so cold! Loser, dude. If I got my hair wet right now, it'd get pretty curly. But it wouldn't get as curly as the curliest curls, which goes to Ellie Marshall. This is so cold, but it's curly. Okay, that's good! All right, the director's got some awards for us as well. Uh, uh, they're more important than ours, but yeah, they're that's okay. They're actual cool. awards. Um, one of them's best thespian. Oh, I have a little history fact here. So I was reading this old college textbook about drama last night. And in it, they say the story goes that Thespis was the first person of the chorus in a in a in a, a, a dithyram, which is like a festival praising Dionysus. He was the first to break away from the chorus, and that's where the word thespian comes from, because his name was Thespis. Thespian, not thespian. I learned that. Day. Yeah, thespian. So best thespian. There's two of them, and then what's the other one, Nico? <laughs> best technician. Best, most dedicated, right? Most dedicated. Most to, dedicated. Yeah. Not, we are neither. No. The director's awards are given each year to outstanding students that have shown the very best of themselves and given all that they have to the drama department. Each of these students will have their name engraved on a plaque that hangs outside the black box door and your names will join a long tradition of really outstanding students. This year for Best Thespian, we honor, as we do each year, a student that is not only stellar on stage, one that shines in their performances, that works hard in rehearsals and represents the very best of acting skills, but also someone that works hard off stage someone that commits their best work and grows their skills outside of the spotlight. The best thespian is also a leader among their peers, someone that others look up to and respect. One of those awards this year is going to go to Connor. Connor is a student that I knew first sitting out in the um, sound booth. I saw him out behind the seats with headphones on, working for hours and hours and hours, toiling tirelessly. Um, he worked really hard with the older students to learn every part of sound and to give his best to his technician work. And then he auditioned for several shows. Some of the parts he was awarded, some of them he wasn't, but always Connor brought a smile and a work ethic that outshines so many um, of his peers. So we would like to honor Connor as Best Thespian 2020. I am so excited to honor Nikki Havistad with an award for Best Thespian. As many of you who are watching this know, Nikki is an absolute rock star. She's involved in everything that we do because she's a team player and she genuinely loves our theater and everyone in it. In just the year that I've known Nikki, I've seen her show technical expertise backstage and willing to jump in with any crew who needs a helping hand. I have seen her direct intro to acting students, even recruiting helpers to put on a successful show with them for the first semester and mentoring them like no other could. I have seen her show leadership in Drama Club without losing the collaborative spirit that is Drama Club. 
she sang a beautiful duet at this con, which brought me to tears. And she took on the challenge of dancing in Newsies with dedication and perseverance. Nikki is a joy to watch on stage, a true talent, but it is that self-deprecating humor, that ability to jump into a conversation with anyone, to share new ideas, to create together, to share her time and talent for the good of all, that makes her a best thespian. Congratulations, Nikki Havistad. Most dedicated theater technician Fossil Ridge Theater, take 27. I'd like to talk for a moment about Thomas Wollner. Many of you know Thomas as a dedicated theater technician, a creative individual whose tireless efforts in the Fossil Ridge Theater Department have uh, resulted in so many great productions over the four years he's been here. But I know Thomas as the student who canceled the school year in 2020. I know some of you guys are thinking it was the coronavirus or social distancing that caused the shutdown of school, but no, in actuality, it was Thomas Wilner and his group of seniors that decided to prematurely sign the floor in the, the shop, uh, a, a ritual that's primarily only completed at the uh, at the, at the completion of the school year. So uh, we do have Thomas Wilner to thank for the shutdown of school. So if you get to see Thomas later, just give him a, you know, let, let, let him know that uh, you appreciate or don't appreciate that. But uh, um, we do appreciate how much uh, the Fossil Ridge Theater community has depended on his skill and enthusiasm over the years. Um, and I really wish him the best of luck as he continues uh, his education. Um, I'm really going to miss him, and I miss all of you guys right now here. This is the 40th take of my uh, attempt at the awards, and I must complete it on this. So here I go with Ben Ashby, a student who uh, uh, brings so much fun and um, energy to the shop, um, as well as a total disregard for any safety. So I don't know how he won either, but uh, it's definitely uh, has to do with uh, um, the, the countless hours that he spent, uh, um, not only just during theater class, but before and after school and on weekends, uh, putting uh, everything that he had in, into uh, the shows that he's been a part of, whether as an actor or a technician. But uh, um, I really love to see his growth as a person and as a leader um, throughout the years and, and the work that he's done on uh, the shows th this year in particular has been admirable and we can't wait to see what he does in the future. So, in summation, congratulations Thomas and Ben. Um, great, great job. Thanks for your contributions to Foster Ridge Theater. Um, I wish I could give you this award in person but uh, know that uh, the effort that it's taken me to accomplish recording this video has been significant. I will see you soon and everyone stay safe. We're not gonna be officers forever and three of us are graduating. We gotta go y'all. So we're gonna be introducing who next year's officers are gonna be. Yes, uh, it'll pop up on the screen now. Hello, I'm recording from my kitchen table. I wish I was in the auditorium with you, where we belong. I wish that we were wrapping up this school year together. Um, we are not, we're doing it virtually and we have your current officers to thank for that. I would like to thank the 2019-2020 officers for all of their hard work this year for Drama Club and for Tech Theater Club. We had a lot of changes this year. We started the school year with a new schedule. We asked that students that were acting for Almost Maine and in tech theater for both productions fit theater into their daily schedule. We introduced two brand new directors. And then in the middle of Newsies, a coronavirus pandemic took over the world and changed our 
entire season in our entire school year and throughout it all from the very beginning all the way up until this end of the school year your drama club officers have worked hard to keep that drama community going and so from all of us directors thank you and on behalf of your peers thank you and now i'd like to announce the 2020 drama club officers your drama club president will be blake rouse your Drama Club Vice President will be Harrison Dackel. Your Tech Theater President will be Nathan Doty. Your Tech Theater Vice President will be Caitlin Purcell. Your Secretary Historian will be Cassandra Murray. And your Improv Officer will be Ben Ashby. We look forward to a great 2021 season. Thank you so much. Congratulations, guys! Oh, you did a great job. You did it. Yeah. Yeah. You have to deal with this next year. Yeah. 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 Good, go team. Appreciate your words now. Great, thank you. Woo. Congratulations! <laughs> Get my jacket. My jacket. Yeah. Someone's <laughs> jacket. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we got Russ made a video introducing the Sparkle Award. Sparkle. Sparkle Award. And now I'd like to announce the winner of the FRHS Drama Department Sparkle Award. This award is given to a senior that has had a special impact on the drama department by inspiring others and adding a bit of sparkle to our classes and productions during their years at Fossil Ridge High School. It's given in honor of Andrew Conrad, who graduated in December of 2014. Whether he was behind the scenes for Little Women applying makeup for guys and dolls, performing in one acts, or dancing in Hello Dolly, Andrew's enthusiasm, joy, genuine friendship, and encouragement of others raised the spirit of the cast, crew, and entire department from 2010 to 2014. Andrew was a catalyst for bringing us all together. He helped us laugh and sing and dance. Even on our saddest days, he put his own troubles aside to tell us we were beautiful. He opened our hearts to each other and to the art we created in the theater together. He was always all in, and his passion for drama, whether in a production or in the classroom, was infectious. Andrew took every drama class FRHS had to offer, and in typical Andrew fashion, he took integrated theater twice. He had more love to share than one class could hold. You could always count on Andrew to help others find joy and self-confidence through his kindness and energy. And Andrew was taken from us far too early, and so we honor his memory and legacy of love for Fossil, and especially for the Drama Department, as the winner of the inaugural Drama Department Sparkle Award. And in 2020, this award goes to a very special person, Ryan Cleverly. I'd like to share some of the things that Ryan's peers wrote about him in his, their nomination. Ryan deserves the Sparkle Award because he's always smiling and creates a comfortable atmosphere for everyone. He makes me feel known when I see him, and he includes everyone. He's invested in the quality of our productions and works hard. Says another student, Ryan is literally the kindest and funniest person I know. I am so happy that our paths keep connecting because every time I get a chance to work with him, it is always a more fun experience because he is there. Ryan is someone who's extremely talented and who has a lot of activities that they are part of. And while some people may let that go to their head, Ryan is unspeakably humble and always so motivating to other students who are trying to be good at things he's good at. Just a few words with him will make me laugh, and I know he has been a great role model for younger kids and newsies. Ryan is someone that I think Andrew would have been great friends with. Sorry. I'm trying to do this on my computer and it's blocking it off. I think Andrew would have been great friends with Ryan, and I think he's perfect for this award. <laughs> Another peer says, Ryan is the kindest human I have ever met. He's always been a light in the theater program. 
I have always been able to count on Ryan when it comes to anything. When I need someone to cry with, or laugh with, or just to talk to, Ryan has always been there. Ryan deserved the, deserves this award more than anybody because nobody could ever you could ever talk to and have anything negative to say about him. He has always been someone to encourage others to do their best, as well as be a positive leader and role model to everyone around him. Ryan inspires me to become better every day. The positivity and kindness that he has spread at Fossil is unmatched. Several other peers had amazing things to say about Ryan, so to Ryan Cleverly, congratulations. This is the Sparkle Award here, and Andrew Conrad's dad has a new one engraved each year. So Ryan, your name will be in car engraved in a plaque just like this one, and I'll be sure to get it to you. I want to also honor two other candidates that were just one vote away from winning the Sparkle Award, Heldon Miller and Nikki Habistad. Both amazing, beautiful, hardworking, inspiring young women that have brought so much to this department. And I encourage you to take a look at the nominations that their peers wrote for them. Thank you so much. Hey guys, thanks Hi. for Yay. Yay. Thanks, hey. for, thanks, thanks so much for coming. Watching. Yeah, it was a really fun year. Nico, you're hey. a cat. Oh my Children. god. I we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. Being yeah, your drama fun. officers this year. Oh, I know blast, what we forgot know? to do. We'll <laughs> do it after. We'll do it after. Um, okay. It was really fun to do this. We want to say thank so you to, thank thank you. to thank our, you. our, to you guys, to our directors, oh, Miss yeah. Russ, Miss Baines, Mr. Garner, Miss McCormick, Sammy, Katie, everyone, Katie, 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 everyone Katie, is Rebecca. Rebecca. It's been a really fun year. Um, I love you guys. We already and said that. We'll, oh, after this, after this, if you want to watch the senior speeches, uh, it's also right going to be on the YouTube channel. You can so say watch goodbye that video. to Connor, me, and it's, Nikki as we. Yep. Leave. Say goodbye to, to me. Say goodbye to me. Say goodbye to me. And probably. that's it. So uh, after that's, this, there's going to be trip. a live yeah, Google Hangouts fun. for everyone to come by. Talk out, hang. Live Google together. Hangouts. Today yeah. It's going to be great. Stop by <laughs> if you want to say hi. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Woo!